This video reminds me of the book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, because here's a shot of the front of our house earlier this summer. These are the hydrangeas that came with the house and I fell in love with them before we moved in. They were so beautiful. And then this year, some kind of fungus got them and they just looked awful and sick. So I decided to heavily prune them and thin them out. At least that's all I thought I was going to be doing. And that brings us to today. All right, I'm just showing kind of a span of the front porch area after the hydrangeas were heavily pruned back. And now I'm dividing them, possibly removing them completely. I haven't decided, but everything that I divide out, I'm putting in these pots to hold until fall has really set in and I can plant them along our borders here. We have um, this south border and then we have this north border. Nothing really nice is planted there, so it might be, might be a good place for a hedgerow. And we'll see if they survive. That's the fun thing about dividing plants is you can kind of do experiments. Um, I don't know if they will do well on both sides of our property. That's kind of a stretch to hope that they will, um, but maybe they will. And when you're dividing plants, you just have all these free multiple plants and you can do a little bit more experiment without risking a huge expense. Look what I got, guys. I didn't even have to go to Home Depot. Okay, so here's Firelight. I got two of these. This is a really good one. I haven't even loaded them into my car yet, but I'm so excited. Six to eight feet tall. And then I got Limelight Prime. Oh my gosh, they aged to pink. Look how gorgeous. And these ones aged to like a brighter red. <clears throat> Four to five feet tall. So these will go on the inside of the walkway. These will go um, on the out cor outer corners of the front porch. And then I got some pretty mums because I'm going to plant these in the ground near the hydrangeas. Those are gorgeous. I've been home all day and I only am just now taking these out of the car. But you can see in this light the difference between the limelight and the firelight hydrangea. So this one is white to pink to like dark reddish fuchsia mauve kind of color. This one's firelight too. And then this one is white and then it turns to green, this really light lime green, and then it fades or ages to this pink color. And then the pretty mums. I wasn't sure if I was gonna pull the trigger on those hydrangeas because they're kind of pricey and a big purchase. And I was talking to my mother-in-law and I was super excited about it. And she's like, I'm sending you a present. So she sent me some money to help with that. So I just was able to just get it. So thank you to Jeannie. Um, but I'm gonna show you uh, how we're doing on the porch. I haven't gotten very far. It actually probably looks worse than the last time you saw. So I'm just taking out a little bit at a time because that is a really, really hard job. All the roots are just tangled uh, together. And then in between times, I'm digging up all this mess because everything that's here is just stuff that grows wild or has spread from the rest of the yard. So we've got grass in there. We have, um, this is, a great ground cover called Myrtle. Um, it's also called Periwinkle. It has these sweet little light purple flowers. Um, it's great. I don't really want it here though. Um, all these are just wild daylilies, the orange kind that are like three feet tall. Um, I like a couple of those here and there. And then on this side, I also have ferns, which don't belong here. They've spread. because There's way too much sun over here for a fern. They've spread from over there. So I'm just getting all of this out. The taller hydrangea will go here on the very corner and then the shorter one, and then I'll fill in the rest with other perennials. Um, yeah, still lots to do. Okay, I've given it, I don't know, 30 minutes. I don't know how long it's been since I posted last, but I have made some headway, so I've gotten that cleared. These are coming out really easily. It's mostly just daylilies and ferns. And then I'm just relocating them to next to that fence over there. And as we mow, we'll just mow around them. But I've come up on a dilemma here. 
you can see this paint job has definitely seen better days. And then this was put here as a deterrent, it looks like, from the groundhogs. Um, we have one that we call Doug, and he's actually our fifth one. They're all named Doug. Um, and he is currently living here and in other places on our property. We see him all the time and we can't catch him. They're very hard to catch, but we have caught four <laughs> and relocated them. Um, this vinyl mesh or this vinyl, whatever you call this stuff, lattice is not doing the trick. It's being, so he dug under there. The, the dirt he's using is pushing that off. There's another hole right there. Um, so I think we need something more heavy duty, probably some hardware cloth, you know, that really small wire. We, we need to like eliminate all of this stuff, dig out, attach the hardware cloth with something more than a staple or whatever is holding this on, and then fill it back in with dirt so they can't dig under. It's the next day, although I think I was wearing this same shirt last time I saw you. Uh, and Donnie is now home from his trip, and so I've enlisted his help with the hydrangeas that need to be removed. He was absolutely sure this is not gonna work because there were so many small stems instead of one large trunk. But I really didn't wanna dig them out, so I thought it was worth a try. You like this? First, we just simply wrapped around. Yeah, some of them, oh, no. shoot. Then we wove it in and out of the stems to try to give it more grip. Okay, it's slipping. And then we tried another time. Didn't want to go. All right, that's okay. He was right. But while he was out there, he took a look under the porch and removed the lattice. And it was pretty bad. And he decided, just like I had thought, that we need to put some hardware cloth out, which would mean we need to dig out a huge trench by the hardware cloth and then staple it up, put back the lattice. Okay. All before I can plant my pretty flowers. So yeah. it'll have to wait. But it will happen. These hydrangeas need to be in the ground and I want the front of the house to look nice. So check back soon to see it all finished. Or at least some progress.